If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. No? No, no. he's proud of his heritage. I, I was But I have a judge who is a hater of Donald Trump. A hater. He's a hater. His name is Gonzalo Curiel. The judge who happens to be, we believe, Mexican. We're building a wall. He's a Mexican. We're building a wall between here and Mexico. No Mexican judge could ever be involved in a case well, that involves you? Uh, he's a member of a society where, you know, very pro-Mexico, and that's fine. It's all fine. But Except I think that you're calling... I, I want to ask you about comments you made about the judge in the Trump sure. University sure. case. You said that you thought it was a conflict of interest that he was the judge because he's of Mexican heritage, even though he's from okay. Indiana. Fine. And he said, no, I won't dismiss the case, and she doesn't have to be the well, plaintiff. Let me tell you, his heritage? I'll tell you what it has to do. But Except I think, that you're calling it the question I think he heritage. should recuse himself. Because uh, he's Then Latino. you also say, does he know the lawyer on the other side? I'm so talking about that. I'm talking about that's like, another. That's another problem. But you're invoking his race when talking about what whether or not he can do his job. Jack, I'm building a wall. If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. This is one of the worst mistakes Trump has made, and I think it's inexcusable. First of all, this judge was born in Indiana. I think his comments were racist. Claiming a person can't do the job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. I think that should be absolutely disavowed. It's absolutely unacceptable.